What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time, welcome in general. My name is Reese and as you can tell by the title, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to refresh synthetic curls. So I did this style about a week and a half ago and it was just getting kind of tangled and frizzy so I decided to go ahead and refresh the curls. So before we get started, if you have not yet, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications so that you can be the first one to see all the gems that I be dropping because I'm not trying to toot my own horn but I be dropping gems. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright you guys, so here I am looking rough McGuff, toe up from the flow up, honey. But first, I'm just going to go ahead and take this ponytail out of my head. I've been wearing it up like this for a couple days probably. So this is how it's looking. Definitely looks super matted and you can see the hair is kind of sticking together. So we're going to go ahead and change that. I'm um, just showing you another angle from the back. So, I mean, this is synthetic hair, braiding hair to be exact, $3 braiding hair. So, of course, it's going to tangle, but we're going to go ahead and try and fix it as best we can. So, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and separate my hair into two. Then I'm taking some of this leave-in conditioner. I think it's olive oil something cream but you just put anything you want in there and honestly i don't even know if you need to put anything but i just felt like this might help to soften it up a bit and then you're just gonna go ahead and detangle and ignore that airplane in the back because there's always an airplane in the back of my voiceovers like i don't get it but anyway y'all hear how loud it is like bruh so yeah, you're just going to go ahead and detangle the hair as best as you can. And to be honest, y'all, this was really hurting my head, like combing this out. It was just yanking at my scalp because it was that tangled. But once you finally get it nice and detangled, you can go ahead and just put it into one big braid. Okay, so as you can see, this is how it'll look once it's braided. We all know what a braid looks like. And then this is just the other side, nice and detangled. And I braided the other side off camera. And then of course, you're gonna take some boiling hot water and just go ahead and re-dip that braid. And you wanna have a towel handy because the water or the braid can get really, really hot if you made your water hot enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze out as much water as I can with the towel. Then I'm gonna repeat the exact same steps on the other side and just squeeze out the braid as I'm taking it out of the cup. So now the last step, well, not really the last step, but the next step is going to be to just go ahead and unbraid each side of the hair. And I also wanted to mention that my hair was a lot curlier and fluffier before because I did like five braids. And so this time, since I only did two braids, it is going to look a bit flatter and more tamed than it did the first time. But that's fine with me. I'm all here for a new look. But this time it's more so wavy than curly or crinkly or whatever you want to call it. So this is what it looks like after I take it out. And it was still a little wet so I just went ahead and squeezed it in the towel. And now I'm just going to go ahead and separate and fluff as best as I can. And I think I ended up going off camera to do this but you guys get it. You just separate the curls and fluff it out. So this is what it's looking like after it's all nice and fluffed out and I actually love the way this looks and like I said before this is three dollar braiding hair so you can't expect it to like mimic human hair that much um, but I think it looks a lot better than it did before so yeah that's the end of the video thank you guys for watching I just went ahead and slayed my baby hairs and that's it so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up Thank you for watching. I love y'all. Alright you guys, so that is going to conclude this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and yeah, feel free to leave any comments or questions down below. So as always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.